Hi, I'm Larry Karaszewski, and this is Trailers from Hell. Uh, right now, we're going to look at one of the oddest movies from the early 1970s, and that's saying something. Brian De Palma's little scene, Get to Know Your Rabbit. Hey there, Mr. Executive. Have they got you in the top management buying? This was De Palma's first big studio film after making indie sensations Hi Mom and Greetings. It was a giant flop, but it has a raw energy and a surreal sense of humor. The movie was supposed to be the launch of a big acting career for funny man Tom Smothers of the Smothers Brothers fame. Tommy was one of the hippest people on planet Earth back then, playing with John Lennon on Give Peace a Chance, being thrown off the air at CBS for his stance against the Vietnam War. The Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour was one of the few places where the counterculture had a voice on network television. And it was very funny. Tommy is a brilliant comedian. He played the dummy in the act, but in real life he was quite the intellectual. This film was produced by the Smothers Movie Division. The only other film I think they made was the really weird Another Nice Mess, which attempts to graft a Nixon critique onto a Laurel and Hardy style comedy. Thankfully, Get to Know Your Rabbit is much better. In it, Tommy plays a corporate executive who decides to drop out, leaves his high paying job to become a tap dancing magician. This totally freaks out his boss, played by the always excellent and underrated John Aston. Aston is one of my favorite performers. His Gomez Adams is a beautiful creation. And I always smile whenever he pops up in a film. The plot of this movie isn't really important. What makes it memorable are all the great little bits. There's an amazing sequence with a piano tuner with no piano to tune, so he makes breakfast and gives marital advice. And the great Alan Gorowitz uh, shows up as a bra salesman who drags Tommy to a six day party. Strangely, the weakest stuff in the film is from the two people with the highest profiles and two people I love and admire, Catherine Ross and Orson Welles. Ross plays a character whose name is the terrific looking girl. That gives you an idea how much thought they gave to the character. And there's no doubt she's really pretty, but her scenes are draggy. And Wells' stuff as a magician drags too. It's as if young De Palma was intimidated by these two big stars and didn't cut or direct their scenes with the natural energy he brings to everything else. No. No. No, no. Look at your hand. Look at them. You're holding your rabbit all wrong. Imagine, if you will, that I am a lovely young volunteer from the audience. Mm -hmm. Now, even though we are tightly sealed in the sack, I, the lovely young volunteer, will escape from the sack in a puff of smoke. But these are minor complaints. The movie is still a joy and smart. There's a real cleverness to the third act where the John Aston character tries to cash in on Tommy Smothers' rebel lifestyle and turn it into a money-making self-help movement. De Palma's next film was the horror classic Sisters. And that's really where he found his voice and became the filmmaker we recognize today. Excitement. Get all the details. Get to know your rabbit.